I mean, I was like, you know, um, it's weird. Like, I've had a friend who her boyfriend, I never knew he was racist, by the way. Mm. Um, but come to find out, um, she, they broke up and she ended up being pregnant. She, her baby um, was with an African-American gentleman, so the, and she's Italian, so the baby would have been half Italian, half African-American. And pretty much the boyfriend said that he wouldn't be with her or accept the baby if the baby was black. Wow. Um, and Wait so she gave the baby up for... I'm confused. For, the what? boyfriend said that? Well, because her boyfriend is a Caucasian gentleman. Her new boyfriend. Yes, but sh they had been together and then they broke up. And then, and then she months went, went back by. With him? Yeah, months okay. went by and she had a baby. By another gentleman. Yes, but she wasn't with the guy. It was just kind of like a one night stand thing. Gotcha. And when the boyfriend, ex boyfriend, and her got back together and he found that she was pregnant, that's what he said. And, he pretty, and so pretty much he wasn't going to accept her or the baby. And so she gave the baby up for adoption. Because and it's of like, what he thought. Right. And it's like, what is wrong with you? Like, you don't have enough, like, care for yourself and for the baby to be like, you know what, we're better than this. Did we don't you need say you. something to this friend or did yeah. you just plead the fifth? I you said did? something to her, but really, what can you do? Like, mm -hmm. someone's going to do what they want to do regardless of what you have to say. What did you say to her? I just, I just said to her, wow, like, you really, he's really worth all this? And, you know, she kind of just brushed it off. Right. But it's weird because this guy... Me and him and her have hung out on several occasions, and we've always hung out and laughed, and everything was fine. Like, I take care of his baby with her, like, and everything's fine. Mm. He even made a, an advance at me, which made me not go over there anymore and be, want to be around him. But it's like... You didn't want to cause conflict between right. your friends. And he did it right in front of her. But I'm like, well, I was like, whoa, whoa. So but it she was like, obviously let him walk all over her. Yeah. It sounds like that. But it's weird. Like, how do you not like black people, but then you, you're you around them and you hang out like everything's fine? I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So maybe he just didn't want the child to be, but it's kind of like, it's a double as long standard. as it's not me, then I don't care right. type of thing. And like I had another friend who her parents don't like black guys, but they're okay with black women. Which to me is like ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Like, I don't know, people are crazy. Why do people put these things, you know, I think you have to judge people on the individual, obviously, right? Right. Everyone's and different. Right. The content yeah. of their character, like Martin Luther King said, not the right. color of their skin. Like, that's yes. what makes you who you are. But exactly. And we all come from different, you know, backgrounds, walks lives. Of life. So, yeah, walks of life. Exactly. And I, I wanted to ask you, Johnny, because me and you are both. Um, biracial. Um, growing up, did you ever feel like you weren't Latin enough or you weren't white enough being half and half? Yeah. Uh, hmm, that's a good question, I would say. <laughs> uh, it's a very good question. Uh, you know, I, I, I grew up Latin, I would say, Spanish, because uh, that's what I grew up in the household. I spoke Spanish and my family was Spanish, so I kind of consider myself to be Puerto Rican Spanish more mm -hmm. because that's what I grew up with right. the culture and right. the food and you know my grandmother I lived with her and my mom and you know we all speak Spanish so for me I think I embraced the Latin part of it mm -hmm. more I didn't realize that people looked at me as Latin until mm -hmm. I got older though mm -hmm. like I, I I sort of assumed that people looked at me as like maybe Italian or white or something. Mm -hmm. I never knew that people looked at me as Latin. And then I learned as I got older that people do see me as Latin. Did you want to be looked at as? And people would start as? just talking to me in Spanish and stuff like they knew. Right. So, did I, you know, I, it doesn't matter. I mean, whatever you look at me as right. is fine. I've been mistaken for... How do uh, you like to be looked at as? Just for myself, I've been mistaken for being Mideastern, mm -hmm. for being all kinds of races, because mm -hmm. I've got that look, mm -hmm. like, I could really go that with universal for... universal look. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is good if I play some characters, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it just... 
on me. So however people see me, you know, I don't know. Like when an audience member comes to my show, I don't really know what do they see. Like what do they think, or do they just see me as John? Mm -hmm. I would hope that they just see yeah, me as John. Yeah, they should hopefully. Yeah, like and just say, oh, oh, I like, I enjoy what he's doing. Right. So, like it shouldn't matter. Like, no, it shouldn't. You know, they can ask me, and you're like out of curiosity, what you know, what's your heritage or something. Mm -hmm. But I guess. I guess every person would probably see me differently. Mm -hmm. That's what right. I would. That's how Just I like see. Just like a painting, it. everyone would look like, at it differently. Right. So I don't know what people see me as. Do you think anybody sees you as anything specific or? Um. Well, a lot of times I get mistaken for being Latina. Um. But then again, people think I'm Middle Eastern too, or like Haitian. Um. Some people get it right and know that I'm half and half, but it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I, I, the only times I, I get like a little bit, oh, is like when someone starts um, speaking to me in Spanish and I'm like, man, I wish, <laughs> I wish I could speak back. You uh, know what I mean? Uh, but yeah. um, I would love to speak Spanish, but um. Well, it's never too late. I know, yeah, right. Never Rosetta Stone, Rosetta. But um, I noticed like growing up, um, people always like, like, especially like the black girls, they'd be like, you talk like a white girl. And I'd be like, and you know what I would say? I'd be like, okay, I talk like a white girl. Well, at least I'm talking how I talk. At least I'm being true to myself and I'm not trying to pretend to be something I'm not. And that would shut them up real quick. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't know what to say. Really? I mean, <laughs> yes. I've, I've, you know, I talk with proper grammar and I enunciate my words. Yeah. Oh, well, like Does if you don't mean, like it, Yeah, Doesn't whatever. mean you sound white. You know, you and sound I mean, like Anna. I sound educated. Yeah, that's all. Why does well. why does educated have to mean white or proper have to mean exactly? You know what I mean? Or why does like, you know? Well, this could go on forever. We could talk forever, but we've got to take a break. So we'll be right back.